Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about um, one of the most common interview questions. Uh, tell me about yourself. So uh, before I jump in, just a quick reminder. So I share everything about UX on my YouTube channel from interviewing tips to portfolio quiz and um, everyday design exercise. So if you're interested on this type of content, please feel free to hit the subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. Tell me about yourself. It's pretty much your very first question uh, when you go into the interviews. It can happen at one-on-ones, at uh, final presentations, or your first call with the recruiter. Um, so how do you answer this question? Uh, what is considered a good answer? Uh, and what's the goal of this question? So my first tip for you is to keep it brief. Um, this is not meant for you to share everything about who you are, what you enjoy doing, what you don't like doing. The main point of this question is really for the hiring manager or the recruiter to understand, are you potentially the best match for this job? That's it. So uh, try to keep it brief. I think three to five minutes is usually a good lens. Um, you don't want to bore your interviewer at the first, very first interview question. Uh, prepare your answer and practice uh, and make sure you're not going into too much details um, and keep your answer to three to five minutes. So the second tip I have for you is talk about your most relevant experience um, and skip the irrelevant details. Um, what I meant is, you know, if you are transitioning from a different background, uh, like me, uh, I was a lighting designer working in the ar architecture world, um, no matter how proud you are with your past background, this is not a time uh, for you to share and showcase, okay, how good you are in your past job or past background or how many awards you have won. This is really the moment for you to share um, anything that directly support the goal of why you are the best match for this job position as a UX designer. Try to understand what's in the job post and from any channels you can, what is the team, what kind of candidate this team is hiring for. Um, so in my case, uh, for example, uh, when I was interviewing for my first UX full-time job, um, I know the company is um, actually known for its hardware, working with physical products, um, while also trying to shift the focus from hardware to software. Um, I um, framed my past experience more as, uh, you know, I had experience working as a lighting designer, designing physical experience and solving user problem. You know, um, it doesn't mean like highlight too much of your past background, but when you explained what's your experience and background, you can frame your story in the best way that make it a part of supportive story to your current role as a UX designer. If you're interviewing for UX designer working for a gaming company or AR and VR, this is again another area I think a lot of the time, like working or having the background or experience working on 3D uh, is very highly valued. So, you know, this is just an example. So try to understand, okay, what is the product this team is working on? And especially what are the items in the preferred qualifications? Um, I think that's usually an area in the job post, the hiring manager is often trying to communicate uh, a bit more beyond the general information of what type of uh, candidate might be the perfect fit for this job. Okay, one other thing I want to talk about is adjust your story to the opportunities you're interviewing for. Uh, you know, we kind of already touching on this in the last tips uh, of talk about your most relevant experience. And what I meant here is um, share a little bit about why you're interested and why you think you might be the perfect candidate for this job. Uh, and how does your past professional experience make you potentially the best match for this UX job? Um, which means I think, uh, you know, you can have a framework of in terms of how you answer this question. At the same time, try to strategically adjust your story um, to best accommodate the specific job position you're interviewing for. Um, so for example, 
uh, if you're interviewing with one company who's looking for a UX designer working on VR and AR product versus one other company who is working on e-commerce, it might be helpful to tweak your uh, story to highlight, and so you can highlight your most relevant part of experience. You might have both experience of working on 3D environment or physical designing physical product. At the same time, um, those stories might not really making you more valuable to a team who's looking or working on e-commerce product. Get to know the team, get to know the company, and also the interviewer you will be talking to. Um, what are they working on? What might be their challenge? How you might bring the value to the table? And what's part of your background and experience is most relevant and directly supporting your story to prove that you might be the perfect candidate for this job. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is practice. Um, this might sound like a cliche, but it's also the fact. Um, just practice, practice, and practice. The first time you answer a question of tell me about yourself is going to be different after like telling it three times, 10 times, or 30 times. And especially, I think a good way to treat it is actually start maybe writing a draft and how you want to answer this question. Um, and once you have the story well drafted, practice with your friend or family member. It doesn't need to be um, a UX designer or somebody from the industry. And it's really important, I think, when you answer this question, it does not sound like you're just uh, reciting the whole script that you have pre prepared. Instead, you want to turn the script into your own language. Um, and one thing I find actually really useful back then is to just uh, film, video record yourself. You can do it with your phone, with your laptop. It's really easy these days. Um, once you record it and watch it, you will be surprised how much you will be finding out from the video on things you might want to improve or adjust. It applies the same to any part of the interview process. You want to be well prepared, but especially tell me about yourself. This is a question that you know for sure you will be asked um, at some time during an interview. This is one of the questions. I think it really worth the time to prepare uh, so you can have your story uh, put together and told in the most compelling way. And often because of this question, it's usually the first question you will you will get at interviews. If you have that done well, uh, it's usually a good start of your whole interview. So um, definitely worth the time and try any way you feel comfortable uh, to practice as much as you can. Okay, so that's all I have for today. You know, tell me about yourself is the question that you will be getting pretty much for every UX interviews uh, that you have. So uh, hope this video will be helpful. I think this is something definitely worth the time uh, to put some sauce and get yourself well prepared. Uh, please feel free to leave me any comments. Also, if you have any questions uh, around the subject, I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.